uh, I have a lot of technology going on today. So, um, how are you guys feeling? Any pains or injuries? You good? All right. Let's sit up tall. All right. Good day, everyone. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from 50 Region in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule as well as in-person or hybrid classes here at 50 Region. If you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can uh, pay by Venmo or by PayPal. All the information is in the description underneath. Um, again, you can always go to my website. Everything is on there. If you want to register for class for the hybrid classes in person as well as Zoom, go to my website again, simhayoga.com. All the information is on there. Registration through Upindi. All right, let's sit up tall. For those of you at home who are experiencing any kind of discomfort or injuries, make sure that you modify as you need. Okay, palms face up. And fingers come to Gana Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. As you ground evenly through your seat, sit up tall, let your shoulders broad. Start to connect to the breath. Let your inhales even out with your exhales. Three arms together, inhale. Um. Um. the eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart. Pressing your thumbs into your heart, heart back into your thumbs. Lifting the heart up towards the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart. Chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga. Call and response. Om Pavitraha Om ma pavitra ha, pavitra wa, pavitra wa, sarwa vashtan, sarwa vashtan, tato piwa, tato piwa, yaha smari, yaha smari, pundri kaksham, pundri kaksham, sapahya, sapahya, pihyandraha, pihyandraha, Suchihi, suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder. Right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. And chin toward the right shoulder. Release back to center. Drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder. Left hand to the right side. And then the chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction. Here to one side, roll it back. Opposite side, roll it center. A few more rounds at your own pace. Take it back to center, pause. And then the opposite direction. Back to center again, lifting the chin parallel to the floor, neutral spine, extending the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands are supporting, turn your toes toward each other, and then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling. Come back to center, switch them around. And back to center again, cross your shins, opposite shin on top, raise the arms up high and extend, exhale, twist to the right. Okay, now back to center, 
Exhale, twist to your left. Center again. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Back to center, other side. Center again, legs forward, forward fold. Take back up, swing the legs back behind you. Down dog, pedaling out the legs. All right, coming back to stillness. Inhale, right heel up, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round the spine. Let's do that three times. Kick it up, right knee in. Kick it up, right knee in. Kick it up, open up the hips and bend the right knee. Re extend the right foot back up, step it forward. Warrior one. Exhale, open it up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, back up, reverse. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Three times, kick up. Left knee in. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, left knee in. Kick it up. Open up the hips and bend the left knee. Re extend the left foot back up. Step it forward. Warrior one. Exhale, open it up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Side angle. Inhale, take it all the way back up, reverse, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank, inhale one breath, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, a little bit further back, that's good, inhale, right heel up, open up the hips, bend the right knee, right knee, outside the right arm and touch three times, kick it up, Right knee outside the right arm. Kick it up. Right knee outside the right arm. Kick it up. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you. Interlace. Lift up, gaze upwards. Bow forward, devotional. Take back up. Warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen the right leg, triangle pose. Take it back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right to back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside the left arm and touch three times. Kick it back up. Left knee outside the left arm. Kick it back up. Outside the left arm. Kick it back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you. Take the other thumb on top. Broaden into a back bend. Bow forward devotional. All the way back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen out the left leg, triangle. Take back up, reverse triangle. Bending the front knee, hands to the floor, left to back plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right heel up. 
Right knee comes into twist. Touch your left arm three times. Kick it up. Right knee comes into twist. Kick it up. Right knee comes into twist. Kick it up. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Left hand catching your right wrist. Extend up. Side bend left. Take it back up. Switch hands. Extend. Side bend right. Back to center, warrior one, open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, extend it, side angle, left palm to face down and reach forward. Keep the side extension, lengthen out the right leg for extended triangle. Inhale, come up. Reverse triangle, bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Left heel up, left knee comes into twist, touch your right arm, kick it up. Left knee comes into twist, kick it up. Left knee comes into twist, kick it up again, stepping your left foot forward, warrior one. Right hand, catching left wrist, extend, side bend, right. Back to center, switch hands, extend, side bend, left. Take it back up again, warrior one, open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior. Extend it, side angle. So, Mariana, if facing this way is too bright for you, you can face this way. Okay? Yep. Inhale. Come back up. Reverse. Actually, that should have been extended triangle. The left hand comes back down to floor. Right arm extending forward. Inhale, come up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor. Left foot back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the left foot forward, low lunge, right foot forward, standing forward, bend. Feet together, knees together. Come up, chair. Keeping the knees bent, cactus your arms, palms facing forward. Exhale, draw the arms in toward each other, opening up the back. Inhale, expand to open. Exhale, draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Raise your left arm up, right hand down, and side bend to the right. Then hooking your left arm to the outer right knee. Twist the chair. Inhale, come back up. Chair, stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee. Once you steady your balance, extend the right heel forward, bend your right knee. Open out to right side, square back to center three times. Extend the right heel forward, bend your right knee. Open out to side, back to center. Extend, bend, open. Center warrior three, arms can reach forward, arms can reach alongside and staying here for three, two, one. Step it back, high lunge on your right tiptoes, arms up high. Once you steady your balance, inhale, lengthen front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down one more time. Inhale up, keeping the arms up, bend the front knee, hands together in prayer. Twist your left. Inhale, take it up and around. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to your floor. Raise your left leg up. Flip the dog.
flip it back around, crescent moon, step the left foot forward, right knee comes down. And once you set up the pose, when you're ready, arms come up, Venus Mudra. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, broaden again. So we'll take another five breaths or so. For those of you who like additional variations and you know them, go ahead and take it. Or just stay here, let your shoulders broaden. So options could be your mermaid poses, grabbing the outside of the right foot, left arm forward, right? You can also revolve that and take opposite hand and foot. And then any other options you like. All righty, let's start to break. Hands come to either side of the left foot and pyramid. Lengthen out over the left leg and fold. Bend the front knee, hands down. Step the left foot back plank in a one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the right foot forward, low lunge. Left foot forward, standing forward bend. Feet together, knees together. Rise up, chair. Cactus your arms. Draw the arms in toward each other. Inhale, open. Draw the arms in toward each other. Inhale, open. Draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Raise your right arm up, left hand down, and side bend to your left. Then hooking your right arm to your outer left knee, to the chair. Inhale, square back to center for chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee and steady your balance. And then when you're ready, extend the left heel forward, bend your left knee. Open out to side, square back to center. Two more times. Extend, bend. Open, center. Extend, bend. Open, center. Warrior three, same variation, balancing on the right leg, stepping back. And then stepping your left foot back to high lunge. Stay on your left tiptoes, arms up high. On the inhale, lengthen front leg and reach up. Bend the front knee, arms alongside. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, come up. Keep the arms up. Bend the front knee, high lunge. Hands together in prayer. Twist to the right. Inhale, square back to center, warrior two, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, right foot kicks up, flip the dog, open up the hips, bend the knee, and step it back. Flip it back around, crescent moon, right foot up, step the right foot forward between your hands, left knee comes down, set up your pose, lunge forward. When you're ready, Venus Mudra. Wrapping your hands back behind you, interlace, broaden your shoulders, lean it back for the back bend. And then you have a few more breaths here. If you took additional variations, take it again, mermaid. Same hand, same foot, that is mermaid one. Revolving your mermaid one, opposite hand and foot, and twisting to the right. And 
begin to break, hands to either side of the right foot, pyramid, tuck the left toes under, lengthening out the right leg, the hamstring stretch as you fold. Then the front knee, palms flat, stepping your right foot back to plank, in a one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward, low lunge. Right foot forward, standing forward bend. Bend the knees, rise up chair. Bend your left elbow, right hand to left elbow. Side bending to the right. Then releasing left arm to outer right knee and then right hand behind you for a deeper twist. You may stay here. Three more breaths or side crow to the right. All right, let's start to square back. Take it back to center chair. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee. Right hand to right knee or yogic toe lock. Extend and then open. If you have a little bit more flexibility, you can take other options like grabbing hand to heel. Ankles to knee, right ankle on top of the left knee, flex your right foot, bend your left knee, seat yours back, arms and torso yours forward. Three more breaths here, or flying crow. Hands to the floor, tip forward, pick up the left foot. All right, let's start to finish up. Square back to center through that warrior three. Step it back, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen it out the left leg, turn the left toes to right side. Measure out your feet, toes are slightly turned in, heels wider, hands to the hips, lift up for the back bend. Exhale, straddling forward bend. Hands supporting, relengthen, and then deep in the fold. I'll give you about 10 good breaths here. For those of you who like to invert, you can invert. <laughs> yeah, use that if you need. Go easy, right? So since there's a little bit of breeze, rather than raising your legs straight up, maybe keeping your legs slightly forward will keep you safer, right? <laughs> I know, <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. It's been a, a bunch of months for many of us who have not been practicing with the same intensity as we used to, right? So go slowly, you know, uh, touch the waters, be safe about how you approach your more advanced poses, all right? All right, let's start to break. So with your hands supporting, bend at the knees, let the seat drop a little, lengthen through the spine, and then lift the upper back, and through that neutral spine, come up for warrior two. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step, the right foot forward, low lunge. Left foot forward, standing forward, bend. Feet together, knees together. Rise up, chair. Bend to right elbow, left hand to right elbow. Side bend to your left. Mm. 
Then take the right elbow to outer left knee, the left hand behind you to go deeper into your twist. And then holding here for a few more breaths or take a side crow to the left. All right, let's start to break. Square back to center, chair. Stepping on the right foot. Pick up the left knee. Left hand to left knee, or yogic toe lock. Right arm goes out to counterbalance, and then gently start to open. All right, if you took additional options, go ahead and repeat the same. Ankles to knees, stay on the right leg, left ankle on top of the right knee, flex your left foot strongly. Draw the feet back, arms and torso leaning forward. And then again, if you're taking your flying crow, step inside. So you're hooking your triceps to the top of the left shin. Your left toes hook into your right tricep. Hands to the floor, step forward and balance. All right, let's start to break through your warrior three. Step it back, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Length your right leg, turn the right toes to the left side for straddling forward bend, hands to the hip. Lift up for the back bend, then come forward, straddling forward fold. I'm going to try for my first forearm stand in about five months. Wow, what used to be so easy isn't so easy anymore. That used to be like second nature, didn't even have to think about it, get it the first time. <laughs> Five months, wow. All right, let's break. Hands to support, bend at the knees with the feet drop, lift the upper back, and then draw all the way up through that neutral spine. Warrior two, right toes point forward, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, right foot back, plank, in a one breath. Exhale, chaturanga, inhale up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend the knees in our one breath. Exhale, jump your feet forward um, and then set up for a crow. Or if you're feeling really strong and you want to jump right into your crow from a down dog, go ahead. Mariana, look forward just a little bit more with your with your gaze. Look forward, look so for yeah, that's right. There you go. Right? So what happens is this. When you look down to the floor, the weight draws this way. But if you look forward, 
the head lifted makes it a lot easier. Okay? All right. Step the feet back down. Rise up chair. Stepping on the left foot. Pick up the right knee. Revolving. Left hand to right knee. Or, yoga, uh, or grabbing the outside the right foot. Reaching right arm back to twist. Now keep that right leg as high as you can. Square back to center. Shiva Nataraj, dancing Shiva. Draw the right heel back. Grab the inside of the right foot with your right hand. Left arm forward. Lean forward as you kick back. Start to release as you step back, Skandasana. Bend your right knee. Draw the seat toward the right heel. Select your left foot. Now if you can free up your hands, hands together in prayer. Take your hands to the floor for support. Kundi Asana 2. Start to shift forward, bending your left knee. Hook the left shoulder underneath the left knee, hands to your floor. Kick your left leg out, tip forward to balance. Good. So bend the elbows a little bit more, lift the left foot and kick it out to the side. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's start to break. Let the hands come to the inside the left foot. Step the left foot back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Again, bend the knees. Jump forward or jump right into a crow. If you're just, just jumping forward, settle in and then set up your crow pose. Right? Of course, the even more exceptionally advanced um, option of that is to go from down dog, jumping into a handstand, and then handstand into your crow, right? So this for those people who are very strong in their practice and can take that um, sequence combination. All right, step the feet back down, come back up to chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee. Right hand, left knee, or right hand outside the left foot. Extend, left arm reaching back to twist. Square back to center, hold that left leg up as high as you can. Shiva Nataraj, left heel draws back. Grab the inside the left foot with your left hand. Lean forward as you kick back for your back bend. Skandasana, step the left foot back. You can use your hands for support. And then if you can balance without your hands, then hands can go in prayer. Kundi Asana 2, using your hands for support, start to bend your right knee, dig the right shoulder underneath, hands either side. You can stay here, you can kick the right leg out to the side, turn around the arm. You can keep your back foot down or shift forward and pick up that foot for the full balance. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit more work, right? <clears throat> I get it. All right. Let's break. Hands to the uh, inside the right foot. Step the right foot back for plank. Inhale one breath. Exhale chaturanga. 
Inhale up, dog. Exhale, down, dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Let's take Sphinx pose. Walk your hands forward, arms down. Grab opposite elbows to measure out your shoulders. Then once you're set, belly and ribs down. Press your forearms down, lift the chest in opposition. Gently turn the cheeks over to the right side, giving your cervical spine a rotation. Square back to center, twist your left. Square back to center, turn your left arm in 45 degrees, support with your right hand. Take the right leg out in a frog pose. So you're in 90 degrees with your legs and flex your right foot for support. Then bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, kick back to twist. Release, support with your hands, lift up, onto your left knee, extend the right leg out. Gate pose, side bend to the right. Back to center, side bend to your left. Back to center. See if you can balance on just your left knee. So walk the right foot in, shift to your right tiptoes, and pick up that right foot. See if you can balance on this half camel shape. And of course, if the balance is accessible to you, maybe it could even be a yogic toe lock. <laughs> Say again? <laughs> yeah, that's what we, ah. <laughs> it's difficult, right? <laughs> All right, let's step it back down. Walk your hands forward, draw the right knee back, and let's come back to your sphinx. This time, let's take your thumbs to uh, underneath your chin. You can take a uh, Venus Mudra if you want, and then pull your thumbs forward, hooking to the underside of the chin, to so opening up the throat. Start to release your hands back down. Lift a little higher, chin toward the chest. And then as you draw the chin toward the chest, also think about your lower ribs and your navel raising away from floor and you're broadening the upper back. Release, come back to neutral. Turn your right arm in 45 degrees. Support with your left hand. Left leg goes to frog. Make sure you flex your left foot. All right, and then bend your right knee. Reach back with your left hand and twist. Gate pose. Release your left hand. Walk your hands in. Tuck the right toes under, standing of the right knee, left foot goes out to the side, arms out, side bend left. Mariana, if you step the foot all the way down, turn the toes, yes, and then step the foot down, you're much more stable that way. All right, come back up, side bend the other direction.
Come back up to center. So trying to stand on the right knee. So shift and pick up the left foot. Of course, if you have yogi toe lock. <laughs> See if you're super balanced, right? Maybe it could be like even this all sequencing, right? <laughs> you know, so you can imagine like a swan or something, you know, like that, and then extend out. Anyway, so those are just, ah, right? So those are just kind of playful things on how to balance on your knee. Ugh. All right, so imagine if we're able to transition very gracefully, right? Okay, let's step it back. Walking your hands forward. Let's come back onto the belly. All right, so set up your forearm plank and, uh, sorry, set up your sphinx and then we'll go into forearm plank. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips and hold. Ten. Nine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Let's go into child's pose. And back to down dog. Pigeon, left leg up. Left knee in toward the nose. Land that shin to the floor, set up your pose, elongate, and then make your way forward. I kind of really like the idea of that knee balance into just kind of arabesque, you said? Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> From this non-dancer, no, uh, no uh, ballet training, have no idea what's what. <laughs> but it's just creating shapes, right, that we're familiar with and kind of challenge our uh, abilities. All right, if you like some variations within your pigeon, go ahead and start to take some. I'll give you another five to seven breaths. So again, you can take your mermaid here, grabbing the outside of the right foot with your right hand, left arm up. Alrighty, let's start to break, walk it back in for down dog. Second side, right leg up, right knee in toward the nose, 
land the shin to the floor. Set it up, elongate. Make your way forward. Yeah, that's correct. And then, of course, if you took a few um, variations here, make sure you repeat. So, Mariana, make sure you do the same variation on the second side, yes? Alrighty, let's start to finish up. Down dog. Start to walk your feet forward towards your hands. Take the feet down. See this final twist, left heel comes in, right leg over, right hand is behind you, left arm up to twist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, counter twist. Back to center, switch legs. Right heel comes in, left leg over. Left hand is behind you. Right arm is up and twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale, come to twist. Back to center again. Extend both legs forward. Left leg forward. Right shoulder of the foot in the left leg. Left hand to the floor. Right arm up and fold. Inhale, take it back up, counter twist to the right. Center again, switch legs, right leg forward, so the left foot in the right side. Right hand floor, left arm up and hold. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, counter twist.
in our center, extend both legs. Let's take it into forward fold, arms up, Hashimottanasana. Grab your feet, ankles or your shins, relengthen and fold. Just bringing your body back into left and right symmetry. Release with your hands supporting to the floor, lower onto your back. Recline twisting, draw the left knee in, left arm out to a T and twist to the right. Take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist the other direction. Square back to center, hug both knees in, happy baby. Then release, step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward. Shavasana, find a relaxation. Let the feet separate, toes are turned out, arms alongside the body, palms face up. And then let it all go. And begin to draw the breath back in. And start to move the fingers and the toes. 
When you're ready, reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite direction. And then rolling over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep. And let the neck be free. Inhale for all. Ah. together in prayer, bowing forward, feeling in the practice. You now come up. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you for joining me today. Again, my name is Stephen Cheng, coming to you live from 50 Region in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule, as well as information on how to pay if you're watching this on YouTube. You can pay me on Venmo and PayPal. And if you would like to join me for hybrid classes at 50 Regent, uh, go to the website again, somehayoga.com. All the information is on there on how to register on Ubindi. Thank you so much. Be well.